Today I'm going to explain why we can't use SSA and AAA to prove a convex triangle. So there are two triangles, obvious, they are not equal. They are not congruent. Green one is bigger, red one is smaller, but they are in the condition of SSA. Y Z will be equal to B C. And X Y equal to A B. So this is S S. And finally, angle A and angle X, they are also equal. So these two triangles, they are in the condition of S, S, A, S, S, A, but they are not congruent. Therefore, we can't use S, S, A to stay for congruence triangle. So we can't use S, S, A. So let's take a look and do a revision on the conditions for proving congruence triangle. First one is SSS. Second one, so SAA is the only one. We can't use SSA. And A, the pair of angle, is the included one. Third, AAS and ASA. For this, we will have two pairs of angles. So if this is the included side, we will use the reason is ASA. And if the two angles, they are together, so we will use AAS. Last one, RHS. That is, we have a right angle and the hypotenuse. And the last pair of sizes. I would like to explain why we can't use AAA for congruence triangle. So I'm going to give you one example in which they are in the condition of AAA, but obvious they are not congruent. So you see, one bigger, one smaller. They are in the condition of AAA, but they are not congruent. They are not the same. First, angle EZ, angle EZ equal to angle C. Angle X equal to angle A here. Finally, angle Y I'm going to move to B. So you see angle Y equal to angle B. So here we see that angle A equal to angle X, angle C equal to angle Z, angle B also equal to angle Y, but they are not congruent. So we can't use AAA. So we can't use AAA to say uh, to prove a congruence triangle.